Boom, boom. This is Ken, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. All right, we got a bit of Soul Land reloaded up today. And today is the day we do have the new character, Shadow Zoo, Zoo King. So you should see Icon on your gameplay desktop for that event. And of course, inside of here will be the Soul Master sale. And of course, right down here will be the chance to get 20 shards uh, for Mr. Eggman, which I did. I have already claimed the shards, by the way. Uh, as well as getting the 50 shards that you get for that. The others, uh, the other uh, shards will, uh, you can get from uh, the books, the biographies, but you get the biographies within the actual, just sweeping. So you, should, you shouldn't have any trouble snatching those up in the three-day period. As you can see, I've already gotten enough, uh, about halfway, a little bit less than halfway where I need to be. So we're in good shape at that point. So I'll finish those up. Uh, I got some more sweeps to do anyway. So I uh, did get in Ming. So I did go ahead and bring him up. And he is a beast, guys. Let me tell you, I was getting averaging between 7,000 uh, to 8,000 trillion uh, on my um, sect boss. Okay. Inside of the, inside of the, um, inside of the sect. Uh, after getting in Ming in there, uh, it went up to nearly 13,000 trillion. That's how much. So 40, 40% um, 40 to 35, 40% decrease in damage. I mean, the guy's a tank, but believe me when I say he's, he does the most damage. Uh, the damage the damage tearing right now is, um, at least on the, just on the sack boss, is Enmeng, Evil Eye, uh, Tick Out Tank Sand, and then Kill Sky. That's the that's the current um, damage ratio that is being dished out. Okay, he's he's blowing away Evil Eye in terms of damage, which is unusual because he's attacked. I did not notice any type of issues with survivability or nothing. Okay, I I, I haven't had it. I had to get him built up, so um, I only had, had a chance to test him out in a sec boss. I'll be testing him out tomorrow. We'll, we'll probably do another video tomorrow, uh, and we'll go through some different facets, but. As you can see, I've already got him up to five, to five sun. I maxed him out. Like I said, I've got enough to, I've still got more than enough to actually take up Q when she comes out. She's out after, after Zoo. Uh, and then I'm going to have a bunch left over. I'll probably just throw those into, uh, possibly put it into Gal. Uh, and maybe bring up Blue. So we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, so um, basically what I did, uh, I got pretty much most of the stuff done. I decided to go ahead and invest a little bit of my uh, my diamonds into getting his uh, cultivation up. So I've already got his cultivation up to seventy five thousand. Um, so that's um, uh, that's you know a pretty good jump in just one day. Uh, you can use that just by doing this deluxe cultivation. But I, I've also got I, I threw some awakening uh, items at him. Okay, um, I do have just enough to actually purchase all three of his uh, awakening weapons because do the awakening for the weapon you have to have three of these I, that's 19,500 tickets I do have 19,700 or something like that because so I could purchase three and max out his weapon but then again you know um, half of the, you know but you, with you coming out I'm not sure that's something I want to do at this particular time so I'm probably going to hold off on that at the moment until I can get uh, make a determination, you know. Um, Hughes, Hughes, an attacker. She's going to be a straight attacker, so she's going to do even more damage than Enmi. Okay, so I'm not really sure. I want to throw everything uh, into it, but, but I, 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 you know, I've already. He's already. He moved straight into his slot. I mean, after I put the soul bones on him, uh, you know, uh, took the took the soul bones off of of Ren, put them on him, uh, moved over the. Um, the hidden weapon, everything, he, he bounced right into right into the slot that he was supposed to be in. And he's God O. Okay? And these others are God. I mean, look how close he is to, I mean, 1311, 1464. Okay? I mean, he's and he's God O. These, these are God 4 and God 5. <laughs> so, um, he's just, yeah, so much more powerful. Um, yeah, so I've had a huge buff in my damage increase, uh, which is good. But I was able to get him up. As, as, as you can see, I've got him up already. I've got him up to, to gold. 
which is where everybody else is at. Everybody else is at gold. So he's already up in that. He's fully leveled up uh, in terms of that. So we're all good to go there. I've got the enhance. I've got the awakening done uh, on all the items, except for, like I said, I'll hold off on this just a little bit. Um, but we'll have to do that. Um, so, yeah, he's in, he's in excellent shape. Uh, I'll start bringing this stuff up a little bit at a time. Uh, the rings are all done. I do need to get a little bit more of the defense rings right here um, if I want to take that ring up to one. But um, I've been focusing on getting attack rings. And my attack rings, I've got like 15,000 of those right now. So I, I feel pretty comfortable just focusing on defense rings for the next the next week or two. Uh, I should have, uh, any, shouldn't have any trouble whatsoever with that. Uh, so the, basically the, the team, you know, has changed already. Um, so we've got, you know, Titan as the... Uh, uh, the tank damage dealer. <laughs> I don't know. There's nothing. To, I mean, dies an attacker, it, but he's doing more damage than he is uh, for that. So it just, yeah, it's just ridiculous um, the, how much damage he does. But he, when you look at his skill set, you can see he's geared completely towards damage. Uh, and but he's got a lot of HP percentage skills, and he's got a lot of damage reduction skills. That's what that's what uh, gives him the tank. Uh, nomenclature is the fact that um, he has the ability to negate damage and he does it very well. I did not notice any issue whatsoever with survivability uh, in the sec boss and we were going up against a sec boss that was more powerful than our sect. Uh, the sect we were going up against today was 70, we are only at 67. So that boss was three times more uh, that we were going up against was uh, three times more powerful than our uh, then our, and we I didn't have any trouble whatsoever surviving against a level 70 sec boss. So, um, yeah, definitely not an issue for survivability. So that's that's nothing that we need to look at at that particular point. So I did focus on that. Um, mortal herbs. I am I am SS plusing. I need to get the one herb. I've got one more herb to finish on that. But as you can see, I'm starting to inspire those. Okay. These will probably be moved over to Hugh once I get her. Okay, the, the, I'm just building them up on him right now, just for a place that I can put them, so I focus on them. Um, but I am, yeah, these are very difficult to get. It takes a long time to build these up. But so, so I need, I still haven't completed the set, so I'll pull these off, put them on you, and then I'll put an S set on him, and I'll complete it, uh, and then build it up manually, just like I did for Evil Eye, and I'll just build them up manually. I, I have enough to do that, okay? Um, so it's not that big of a deal. So what I'm probably going to do is when I get get Hugh, I'll be moving Hugh in, and I'll probably take the equipment and whatnot off of Evil Eye and put that on Hugh because it's a little bit better than the set that I've got on Clear Sky. And then I'll take the set that's on Clear Sky and move that to Die. So we'll have Hugh, Die, um, and Ming, and see God Tanks in. Uh, and then I'm, it, depending on what happens next, we'll I'll have another. We'll have another six weeks or so before SP characters start to get introduced after Hugh drops, uh, and then we'll go from there in terms of uh, waiting to get you know an SP character to throw in there in terms of that. Um, I, I don't see really the need to focus on loot to that point. I mean, I will. But he's he's not ranged. He's an attacker. I, I've already got, you know, I want as I've said before, I want two melee uh, and two ranged. Right now I'm running three melee and one ranged. Sea God is the only ranged. But Clear Sky is going to be replaced with who? So then I'll have two ranged, two uh, two melee, and that's what I'm looking for. Uh, and you're supposed to be a maximum damage dealer. She could take out SP SP killer is what they're calling her. So that's definitely why I want to make sure that I've gotten her. Uh, so, but yeah, she's an attacker, so she's not, that's the uh, reason I can focus on Inming is because he's defense. Since he's a tank, he uses different rings, so rings and whatnot. So it's not um, interfering with any um, material gathering that needs to be accomplished uh, for Hugh. Okay, and I'll be able to, you know, just move the, the, the soul bones and whatnot off of that, keeping the four main team. Uh, and then we'll move uh, the rest of them in, then. and we'll be. Then we'll of course we'll have to reshuffle support. We'll have different support characters uh, and whatnot, and we'll have to we'll have to make terminations, move things around, and see what works best. Uh, but yeah, so definitely a wise choice if you do need a tank, or I guess for basically if you just need a damage dealer, anything might be the way to go. Uh, but yeah, he's a beast, a total beast um, in terms of damage increase. Yeah, I went from seven thousand. Uh, between it used to be about 77 78 
thousand trillion is what I was running in the sec boss today when I did it I just like twelve thousand nine hundred and sixty nine thousand uh, just shy of thirteen thousand so yeah just a huge increase um so yeah it's definitely a character that you might want to consider okay so what do we got up in terms of time limit events we've got the active wheel always keep on the active wheel as I've said before make sure you do your not a day okay as you can see I'm already on pace I've done both both full days so um i have h you know eight a day so 16 24 you need 21 to get the actual devil spot of course so make sure you do that uh special sale weekly gift bag you know i I'd purchased all these are in really good shape um super monday we're working on that of course two times drop this right here is why you might want to this is why i was able to get in ming i thought it was going to take in ming probably about two days to get him fully built i was able to do it today i got him this morning built him this morning and that's because there were two times drops so i was able to uh, there was only just a handful of places where I actually had to um, do any sweeps. I just had, you know, I, I timed it really well uh, it, uh, on the mats that I need, and I made sure that I had most of the mats that I would need so that I would very little to build him up. And I got really lucky in terms of what I needed. So that is up. Okay, so really, yep, yeah, uh, th all those events are gone. So spe sect is up. So make sure you get, you know, make sure you get in there. Uh, as always, we're um competing with divination uh they just got so much more that they're 563 billion we're only at 270 billion so um you know our main you know it, it it's just one of those things uh what really surprising is the fact that that we're actually uh, lemonade is actually um higher than us as well but we're actually do better than monosex that's because we have more people participate Lemonade's a very small guild, but a sect, but they have a lot of really powerful characters. We have several powerful characters, but we've got a lot more people as well, too. So, and they do participate. Uh, we, it, we don't really have any, you know, like you're not have to participate, but we, but most of the people do participate, so it works out well. Uh, so, so the yeah, so Shadow Zoo's up. It's really pretty much simple. You will get 10 shards for her if you actually do the claim today, Okay. Uh, and then in the actual Soul Master sale, you'll be able to get 50 that way. So you have 60 plus the actual uh, 60, 40. You'll be able to get your 100. So you will not be getting 90. You'll be able to get 100. Okay. So 50, 40, and the, the 10 that you get from that. So you'll, you should be able to get 100. So that's what you want to shoot for. Just make sure you get her. Because even if you're not going to use her, you need her for fusion. Okay. See, that's I don't my fusion skill is not active on Inming right now. Okay, simply because of the fact that I don't have all of the character I need to get Zoo. So once I get Zoo, it'll be active. Like I say, it's the character before and the character after that combine to allow you to have your fusion, and you want to get the effect because it condenses divine power to blade of light that slashes at enemies in a fan-shaped area in front. Okay, reduces their energy, dealing two essences of physical damage, equivalent to 1350 times of attack, and affected enemies with death gauge when targets energy less the five percent additional suppression effect will be affected. So that's good, good. Okay, and then deals 35 percent less damage to Titan. See, that's the whole point. He has these damage reduction skills, which are downright ridiculous. Okay, he doesn't need to have much in the terms of shield and much of HP buffs. People are just aren't doing any damage against him. He just reduces their effective damage. I mean, at one time, if you look at it, it's like 75% damage reduction if if all of the skills uh, line up properly. So it's ridiculous. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, he's just got so much. So yeah, survivability is not an issue whatsoever. So we'll, we'll be able to see that. So that, and then we're going to have to start building him up, of course. But I understand that, you know, we're not going to start seeing shards for uh, the divine skills and whatnot, building these, building the characters up, the triple S, until we've got into SP. But there, as you can see, it's not needed. The divine skill is nice, and it does give you definite buff uh, and skill. But in terms of, they're just so much more powerful than SS pluses. Even somebody with a base O um, can increase your damage exponentially. It took me up to 13 billion. I was at 12. I'm now at 13. So it, it was definitely something uh, to consider. So yeah, definitely worth it. Uh, he's an excellent character, and he does a ton of damage. 
All right, so what else do we got? So we've got uh, nothing to sit. Lucky, yep, you know, I hit uh, this, which was pretty actually lucky. I would have preferred to have hit um, something, you know, along this lines so that I could have gotten, uh, you know, some more shards for some of the, uh, for, uh, so I could start working on his divine skill. But, uh, you know, this is up for three days. It's, uh, you know, unless you want to rob uh, the thing. But, yeah, they're, most of it's for Zoo. Um, so she does work pretty good. Uh, she's a good character. Um, so keep that in mind if you're looking for something uh, in terms of PvP. She's definitely uh, what you might want to uh, look into focusing on. Okay, uh, other than that, everything else is pretty much... This is this is no different than any of the other events. There's no change in format. Uh, just get the biographies through sweeping. Okay, we've also got the God Trials up. You might remember this. We've had this once before. Um, basically, this is a... Um, you just fight these and get rewards, okay? Uh, and it, you can do that. I haven't done it yet today. Um, and then you get these. I, I'm going to do it because I want to get all of these because I want to start working on uh, in Ming's, uh, and we need some spirit avatar to do that. Um, I was able to bring them all up the way up to 109. Um, blew right through all of my ex experience potions except for the max ones, so I should be able to take care of... Um, uh, I earned these back today. I had pulled one pool, one five set from up here. One level five was required, and it pulled uh, uh, a couple hundred from here. So as you can see, um, uh, these should be enough to take you up to max. I'm, I'm going to start building them up just to be on the safe side because I want to be able to max level her up um, so I can hit, you know, max out skills like I did for everybody else. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's one of those things that you need to actually uh, keep an eye on. You don't use them very often. But when you start getting up into the higher levels, you know, it start, you know, you, you need to have them. <laughs> so it's best to just, you know, keep your hands on them. Uh, so I still haven't built up his physical skills, but I have been saving up a bunch of this stuff to do that. So I'll be working on those uh, as well. But yeah, so he's an excellent character. Um, did go up um, in the actual, whenever you grab a new character, even if you don't put him in your team, you want to check the soul. Oh, okay, my trial went up as well, too. That's good because I need to build my diamonds up. Um, the Soul Force Emerge. Uh, I went up from 46 up to uh, 40, uh, 56 to 59. Um, just place all because you'll see place all and um, and Ming is right in here at 500. Okay, so uh, keep that in mind. I think that I think this goes up as uh, the SP increases as you do their divine skill, and I've got a little bit of divine skill on die, so that's why. And these will go up eventually. Um, but once we get, um, once we get you, we'll be putting, you know, uh, next character we get will be Zoo. Uh, and I'll do so, place all for Zoo. And they'll place her. Even their base is 500, which is more than the base for the SS pluses. So Ren or uh, Clear Sky will, or Bo will bop out and she'll, Zoo will replace that. When I get Hugh, she'll replace that. Uh, so at that time, I'll only have. I'll have just all triple S's except for one SS plus inside of this uh, the soul power. I'm probably going to be at probably be about 66 or something like after that. We'll have to see. I, I came up three here, so I'm not sure uh, how exacting it does, but it's it's a nice effect and it does give you a little bit more in terms of you know team attack, defense, and hit points. It gives you a percentage. It's a 35 percent increase. Uh, now that's that's a lot. So this is definitely not something that you want to neglect, okay? Um, uh, and yeah, so he's definitely a good character. I mean, if you're, if, uh, I'm serious. If you're looking for, uh, I, all right, he, he's an attacker. Okay, let's just, just just be honest. That's what he is. He's an attacker. Um, he's listed as a tank, but in my opinion, he's much more effective as an attacker. It's nice that the fact that he can have those, that you know that. The abilities at, at tech, and it's nice because I can utilize defense character materials and still get the benefit of an attacker, which is what I think is real is the real plus for him. It's difficult to build a team of four attackers because they all use exactly the same materials. There's three types of materials: there's attack material, support material, and defense material. Okay, if you have a team running four attacker, you you need a, you, you'll be constantly farming attack materials. Uh, it, you can't really do it effectively and build them up. 
So it's really nice to be able to get a powerful attack character, but use defense items. So I think that's a very good plus as well, too. So if you're even if you're looking to build a four attacker team, I'd say I would make him one of them, of them simply because of the fact that you can get away with using defense materials but still get a huge buff in your attack. Uh, but yeah, he yeah he clearly uh, clearly uh, does a lot more damage uh, than you would expect from uh, Ren. I mean Ren was Ren was third and fourth. Um, she, her her main she was a tank. She was taunt, keep people on, heal herself to keep herself alive. She did damage, but it just wasn't a lot. Yeah, so we've got a complete change. So that's just one. I mean, when we get Hugh, I should have a pretty tough team by that time. Um, so uh, here probably within the next, you know. So we should see Shadow Zoo event up. Uh, like I say, this will go away in three days. Probably come up again sometime next week. Most likely they'll stick it in a time limited events. It seems like they run the, the second event fairly quickly. And then they space back out the last event. So the second event, probably sometime in the next week. Okay, maybe beginning of the following week. Then we'll have another week and a half or so off. And then they'll come out with Q. Okay, and that'll be the new character. Okay, and in the Soul Master sale will be the shards to get Zoo. Okay, uh, one of the things I would... The reason I want to get Shadow Zoo shards is because... Um, like right now, I don't have to. I don't have to use all twenty of those. Sh I won't have to use all twenty of those shards that are in the Soul Master sale on Zoo. I only need ten of them because they're giving you ten inside of the login freebies right here. So and so I can put those ten shards toward towards you, um, and that would be really nice. I think because she should be, yeah, it should be, and I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping that, uh, uh, not Hugh, but I'll be able to put those shards, uh, um, uh, towards characters. So that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping they'll give us 10 shards when they have the Hugh uh, event as well, too, because that would be nice to get extra shards for her, because I want to start building up her divine skill, of course. She will be the focus. I'm hoping uh, that they stick in the treasure. I'm hoping that they stick, um, and not on the treasure of the theater. I'm hoping that they would. I hope they start sticking. They advertise them in here. I, unfortunately, I can't see it. But I'm. Uh, uh, I'm not going to be focusing on Die anymore. Okay. Um. He's simply not. He's simply going to be the weakest of the triple S's that I have in there. Okay. So, but my focus is going to be on Hugh. Uh, I'm not going to focus on In Ming at that at the moment. Uh, I can't focus on both of them. Like I say, Hugh's. Hugh's, going to be there for the attack. She's the SP killer, so if I want to compete until I can get a good SP character, uh, I'm going to need her. So she will be my primary focus, uh, and that's why I'm going to put the best uh, the best set of, of equipment that I got on her. So I'm hoping to finish up that Immortal Herb and get that final triple S. If you go over here and look in Immortal Herbs, um, I still need to get, uh, so I need this one right here. Yep, this one. And so I still need about, 32 shards so I'm really hoping that I'll be able to get my hands on those shards pretty soon uh, they give you each time the event they give you one of the really nice uh, they give you one of the really nice material packets and they give you that chest that um, has um, immortal souls in it it's a really it's a colorful chest they give that to you usually at the in the event so I, and I'll be able to get 30 unfortunately I need uh, so that's what I used to actually make the second one. I'd already completed the first of the Myrtle Herbs. But yeah, so we're just looking for that. Um, and then I'm going to, next thing I'm going to focus on is probably going to start selling in these Awakening items uh, and getting tickets so that I can start working on getting all the tickets that I'm going to need. I'd like to get, I'd like to get, uh, you know, I, I, you need a certain amount of tickets to get the Awakening weapons. And I'm going to get it. That's why I'm not purchasing the three for Inming right now. I'm going to save those. Um... I want to be able to purchase enough to fully max out use weapon awaken her weapon when I get her so that's why I'm holding off I should be able to get uh, uh, enough shards to do that I can get the tickets fairly easy they do throw them up in events and there should be within the next because it's still going to be another um, 
it's still going to be another month and a half before we actually see Q. So it's not, not that gives me some time. I mean, you know, we'll see her in, in about four or five weeks, but you know, the event spaces out over the course of another four or five weeks. So I won't be able to see her for another 10 weeks, roughly. So um, it's not something that we need to be focusing on at this particular time. Uh, but I'll start building up those tickets, so I'll be ready for her. I've got the awakening items. I'll be able to, to pull the awakening items off of um, Clear Sky uh, and utilize those. So it, it's not that big a deal. But I just need to see how many tickets I can get after I sell those awakening items that I have. And that'll make a determination on whether or not I've... Uh, when I focus on Inming and bring him up. Because, yeah, he's going to be a staple of the team. It's just he's not going to be the primary focus uh, with our damage dealer going to be huge. Okay? So that's it. So, yeah, excellent character. Definitely go for him, Inming. Uh, definitely worth it. All right? So thanks a lot for watching. Remember to subscribe. When you subscribe, you'll see the bell. Click on it. You get notified each time I drop the video. Kinra, coming out from the corner, signing out.